So here we are in VM Maker, and we're looking at the interpreter classes because we know the interpreter classes are the representation of the virtual machine in the image. They'll get compiled to C, we, C files. We'll compile those and make a new VM. And it's written, each of these methods, in slang. Slang is a mixture of C and Smalltalk. So how about we update from server, so we'll execute this just to keep things current. Then we'll execute initialize browser support. Now when we go back to our uh, browser and we're looking at code, we can press the source button on the right there. And we've added two new entries translate to C and translate inline to C. So this is the C that's going to get produced in the file that the image will spit out which we will compile into a virtual machine. Translate to inline to C. Inline C is more explicitly written C. It helps to um, speed up the process. So if we get a new set of sources from squeakvm.org and we you know check them out we can start to explore through the um, many directories of C files where that piece of code we were just looking at actually is and it's in a file called interp.c interp for interpreter because we've translated that class the interpreter class into a C file and you will see the inlined version, that's the slightly longer version, written here. So that's the one-to-one -one relationship. To find out more about this, you want to go read an article called Back to the Future that's available here about how Squeak was first created.